So let's move on to the question number three. AG company acquired 80% of Sun company in 2017 at a cost of 515 million. So the purchase consideration was 550 million was paid to acquire 80% of Sun. The fair value of the identifiable net asset of Sun company on this date was 550 million. And the fair value of NCI, the non-controlling interest was 120 million. If the NCI is measured as a proportion of net assets, calculate the goodwill arising on acquisition. Okay, so now you are required to calculate the goodwill based on the proportion of net assets for non-controlling interest. However, you are given the fair value of NCI as well, which is 120 million. So let's calculate, first of all, as a proportion of net asset. So goodwill as a proportion of net assets. Okay. So what is the consideration paid consideration transferred we can say how much 515 million so we need to add back the non controlling interest how much is that so it has to be we can't it has to be based on the proportion of net assets. So net assets at the time of acquisition was 550 million. So of this 550, 20 million belongs to the non-controlling interest. So that will be 110, 110 million. From this, you deduct the fair value of identifiable net assets so which will be 550 so thereby the goodwill will be 75 million so this is the goodwill so basically this is based on the net assets supposing if you calculate based on the fair value so based on fair value how how you will calculate so you take the consideration consideration transferred there is no change 515 then the NCI so NCI should be the fair value how much is the fair value of NCI, non-controlling interest? 120 million. So instead of the net assets, so you can take the fair value. Then fair value of identifiable net assets will be 550. So thereby you can say the goodwill as 85 million so it depends on the examiner if you are asked to calculate the goodwill based on the net assets so you can apply this method otherwise you have to use the fair value is that clear okay so this is the answer for the question number three now let's move on to the question number four question number four AG company acquired 90% of S Light company in 2019 at a cost of 360 million. So this was the purchase consideration transferred to acquire S Light. The carrying amount of the net assets. Okay. So identifiable net assets of S Light company on the acquisition date was 325 million. However, 
the fair value of the identifiable assets of the company was 350 million the fair value this is the carrying value so this was the carrying value 325 however this was the however this was the fair value for the following reasons so 325 has increased to 350 due to the following reasons what are the reasons a slight had developed a brand name with a fair value of 15 million but this was not recognized in its own financial investments so basically so 325 has to be increased by how much 15 million this was not identified in the financial statement because of the brand name and the second reason the land with carrying amount of 65 million had a fair value of 10 million in excess of this so basically the carrying value was 65 million and the fair value is in excess of 10 million so which means the 75 million is this fair value so therefore the fair value increase is 10 million for the land so this is also not accounted in the carrying value of 325 so when you add 325 plus 15 plus 10 so that will be 350 is the fair value okay so that's very simple now let's calculate the consideration the consideration transferred how much transferred 360 million was transferred then the non controlling interest of 10% we need to calculate on the fair value of the fair value of the identifiable net assets on that 10% will be how much 35 million then the carrying amount okay so you need to deduct the identifiable net assets of which we had the carrying value so this is the fair value of the identifiable net assets so we had a carrying value of 325 so that was increased by the brand name the brand name increase was 15 million and the fair value adjustment on land fair value adjustment okay on land was 10 million so thereby the total fair value will be fair value of the net assets will be 350 so 360 plus 35 395 minus 350 will be 45 so that will be 45 that that will be the goodwill so this is the answer for the question number four okay now let's move on to the question number five it's a bit lengthy question question number five P company acquired 75% of S company. S company's 80 million shares on 1st January 2016. So P has acquired 75%, 75% of 80 million shares. So it paid 25 per share, agreed to pay a further 1,070,000 on 1st January 2017 the following details are relevant to the acquisition date okay so what has happened P company has paid uh, P company has acquired 75% of 80 million shares of which they paid 25 per share plus 
they have agreed to pay another 1,070,000 after one year's time. So these are the purchase consideration. So the fair value of the non-controlling interest was 255. So non-controlling interest fair value amount was given 250 million. The carrying amount of the net assets of S company was 2 million 350,000. So carrying amount of the net asset of the subsidiary company was 2 million 350,000. The fair value of S company's head office was determined to exceed its carrying amount by 50 million. Okay, so though you are given the carrying amount of the net assets, the carrying amount of the net assets as 2,350,000. However, the fair value of the head office was going to exceed the carrying amount by 50 million. So you are given the carrying amount 2,350,000, 2,350,000. However, this amount will increase by the increase in the fair value of the head office by 50 million. This company had not recognized a publishing title in its own statement of financial position. This was deemed to have a fair value of 10 million. Okay, so this carrying value of the net asset doesn't, the carrying value of the net assets 2.350 million doesn't include this 10 million of the, the, the publishing title, the value of the publishing title. So therefore, when you calculate the fair value of the identifiable net assets, you need to add back. This company had disclosed a contingent liability resulting from a legal case. This was not recognized as a provision by S as the probability of the payment was estimated to be less than 50%. So this carrying value doesn't carry this contingent liability. The maximum exposure was 20 million. The fair value of the contingent liability at the acquisition date was estimated to be 15 million. So this contingent liability was not accounted here so therefore this has to be accounted however you have to account for the fair value of the liability not the actual exposure of 20 million okay the parent company's cost of capital is seven percent okay now let's calculate the uh, the goodwill first of all consideration transferred how much is the how much was the consideration transferred how much there are two components first one is the uh, immediate payment which is 80 million times 75 percent times 25 per share so which will be 1.5 million then there is a deferred consideration deferred consideration of 1,070,000 so since we have to take the fair value you need to calculate the present value of the payment because they agree to pay this after one year's time Okay, so what you can do is, so 1,070,000, if you take the discounting factor, because you are given the cost of capital as 7%, so 1.07%, so you can identify the discounting factor, so that will be how much? So that will be 1,000,000. Then you add back the non-controlling interest. Non-controlling interest 
Here you can't take the, the fair value of the identifiable net assets because straight away you are given the fair value of the non-controlling interest as 250 million. So you need to take the fair value of the non-controlling interest 250 million. So from this total, so you need to deduct the fair value of identifiable net assets. So you know the carrying value, the carrying value was 2 million through 350, 2 million 350,000. So 2 million 350,000. So this will increase by the fair value adjustment for the head office because the carrying value is going to exceed by 50 million. So we can say the fair value adjustment for head office 50 million. Then there is another adjustment for the publishing title fair value adjustment that is the intangible assets they are fair value intangible how much is that it's going to be uh, 10 million it's going to be 10 million then there was a contingent liability the contingent liability of 50 million the fair value adjustment for the contingent liability that is a legal case which is 15 million it's a liability therefore you need to deduct from this total so once you take the total that will be so this will be 2395 so thereby the goodwill will be 355 so this is the goodwill calculation for the question number five with this i will conclude the session if you have any questions or any doubts what you can do is you can leave a comment and also please consider hitting subscribe button so i'll see you soon with another video until then bye for now